my sunshines, my rainbows, my orchids, and my moonlights. Hi guys, how are you all today? Um, what we're going to do today, this week's reading, is will they contact you? Okay, now I know that's just kind of an overall general reading, but I want to do it um, on the person that you're thinking about. So it doesn't necessarily have to be love, it can be friends, it can be family members, it's whoever you are thinking about when you push the energy into the decks, okay? Who um, will they contact you? And I might pull some Lenoma as well. So not just the tarot, we'll have a look at the Lenoma as well. So let me show you the decks. And as I show you the decks and you pick the deck you want, I'll just give you some updates. Updates. Are you ready? Here we go. Updates. Deck number one, deck number two. Pick the deck that you are most drawn to. So I was really drawn to use the more Mabon um, Autumn Equinox decks. Now, the reason why that is, is because on Saturday we are doing a Pagan Party Release Mabon special over at my other channel at mystical moonday musings so you can go and hit subscribe you're gonna enjoy it and you're gonna want your wine your coffees your hot chocolates everything like that you're gonna want to come and join the celebration hear about my bond get some witchy tips on how you can really harvest the, the energy of this time of year and also hear the astrology and tarot for the six week period up to Sawain. Halloween. So if you haven't subscribed to Mystical Moon Day Musings, go and hit subscribe. I want to get it to 100 subscribers before Sawain. Um, and if you have subscribed over there and not over here, go and hit subscribe here too. I, I, I love seeing the subscriber count go up on both channels. So yeah, go hit subscribe and we will get going on this. Number one, number two. Oh, the other thing about Mystical Moon Day Musings is that it's tarot and astrology readings for the whole week. So we do a weekly reading for you for free of the tarot and the astrology. And then um, I do the readings over here, but we're going to do the pagan parties every six weeks as the festivals come in. Okay, let's go. So just think about your person for me. And as I'm connecting with that energy, I'm getting that Taylor Swift song. And you might know that I'm a big Swifty. Um, I generally don't get that many Taylor Swift songs coming up, um, apart from the new deck that I've ordered coming from America. But that's a different story. Um, so the song that I'm getting is I Can See You. So this automatically suggests to me that your person is watching you on social media. Okay, now there's also what spirit are saying through my right ear, spirit being your loved ones, helpers and guides. When it's through my right ear, it's higher vibrational, um, like it's like goddesses, it's the ascended masters, it's the angels. They speak through my right ear and then your guides will speak through my left ear on private readings. So with them saying that as well, what's coming out with that song? Not only are they watching you on some form of social media, if you have it, but energetically, it's like you can see through their soul. And it's kind of freaked your person out a little bit. So they might have done a bit of a wonder. And that <laughs> they might have wandered away like, okay, I'm a little bit frightened at the moment. I can't quite cope with this situation. I don't know what to do. So they're feeling a bit overwhelmed, okay? So it's like you can really see into their soul. You can see the depth of everything. You're probably associating past lives with them. There's probably some form of karma. And if you want to look at that in past life readings, just give me a shout. But you have this energetic... Um, feeling between the two of you that you do read each other's souls and you do read each other's energy and that's kind of what the cards are suggesting over here so let me just get three lenoma on the contact between the two of you will they contact you will they contact you well that's a good start will they contact you i'm gonna get three of each two that's good and last one so Lenoma reads like a story, you see, and it goes back to the start or each time. Okay. Right. Let's have a chat then. Are you guys ready? So like I said to you at the start, they can see you. You can see them. They're watching you on social media. They haven't forgotten about you if you're not talking. There is just this feeling of panic, overwhelmed, a bit sad, a bit sorrowful over the situation with them. They're also not feeling good enough. So if you've been um, giving them lots of compliments, making them feel really good about themselves, they're panicking over it because like I said, they, they know that you can see into their soul. They know that you can see who they are as a person and it scares the living daylights out of them because suddenly there is nowhere for them to hide. It's like the shadow side is really coming up for them. So they're really battling the light and the dark. And with Mabon coming up and like I was talking about the Pagan Party special at M Mystical Moonday Musings, 
the day and the light are about to equal out okay so we're going to have the same hours of daylight and the same hours of darkness and this is where the shadow side of things really start to come forward for us so your person is hiding from the situation at the moment they're really kind of like ducking and i want to do a game of like peekaboo like i do with my son it's kind of like that they, they're hiding but they're, they're still keeping an eye on you they're still watching what you're up to now we've got the three of swords kind of coming over here for the heartbreak that's going on with this situation so your guy you guys watching are probably feeling quite sad about it what i want to say with this is your person is echoing those emotions and those feelings they, they are also feeling sad over the connection over the situation um there is a great love here with the queen of cups coming in and again with the queen of cups she is the psychic she is the intuitive so they know that you can see beyond the the physical realms they know that you can see more to them and again this worries them it panics them there's stuff that they've been hiding as well spirit i want to tell me it's stuff that they haven't wanted you to know so that will probably be more related to childhood memories to stuff that you know we all have a past stuff from their past that they just didn't want you to particularly find out so they've got this panic on as well that with your int intuition that you're going to find the real them and they know that you can see into their soul but there's stuff that they wouldn't want you to know because they wouldn't want you to change uh, your perception of them OK, because they know that you, you light up the room, that you make them feel really good about themselves. And that's where the panic comes in, because they're like, well, if 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 let me think cadence, so it's just a random name. If your cadence out there, hi, I'm talking to you. And <laughs> um, if cadence knew exactly what I was going through at that point in time, she wouldn't want to speak to me anymore. Um, so that energy coming up, all right? Fear, fear-based energy. Now, the other card we have over here is the High Priestess. So we do have this very, very psychic, intuitive cards going on with you guys. Very, very psychic. The High Priestess is the seer. She is the two-world walker, so between this realm and the other realms. Um, me being a prime example of the High Priestess, I walk the two worlds. And you guys watching are most likely going to be two world walkers, perhaps not tuned into it, but definitely intu intuition wise. And again, this is what scares them. OK, they're having a freak out, basically. They're getting the knickers in a twist and they're having a bit of a paddy whack about it because they're like, she or he can see into my soul. I don't know what to do about it. What if they find out the truth about me? What if they don't like who I am as a person because their intuition is really damn hot? It's scaring me. OK, so that is where you guys are, where you are at this moment in time. Now, I don't feel for a lot of you that you're completely out of contact, but it's just a little bit silent, a little bit dormant, a little bit asleep at the moment. OK, now, when I look at the Lenoma mixed in with the tarot, success is coming of contact. It is going to be happening between you guys. So right over here, we have the sun and the anchor. So we read these two together. The anchor is the best card in Lenoma. It's about success. It's a, They used to have a game when they played it as a parlour game. Lenoma was a parlour party game, first of all, foremost. And if you pulled the anchor, you won. So you're winning at life when you get that. And with the sun next to it, this is saying that the, the positive emotions of things are going to give to success. So even though they're having a freak out at the moment, don't panic because it will come back round. Um, and then we have the anchor to the dog. So dog is a friendship, anchor is success. And this is talking about a successful friendship. So they might come back to you and kind of just to downplay it a little bit, because they're panicking about the emotions, when the contact comes in, they might try and be a little bit pushing you away and say, look, we're just friends. We're just friends. Um, but there is more depth to it than that. So if you do, again, if you want to look at their emotions, give me a shout. We can do it in private readings. Um, I am doing same day voice return uh, readings today. Um, and that is £10 per question. And you can just message me on Instagram or Facebook or email me. I'll put all the deets in the description for you. So from there, we go from the dog to the sun. It links back round again. So a positive outcomes for friendship. So basically for this connection with you and your person, slow and steady is going to win the race. Let them have their paddy whack. Try and I know it's really hard, especially when you're pagan like me. Try to reel in the intuition a little bit when you're talking to them. So keep your intuition on fleek keep it up um, but when you're communicating with them you know if you're working intuitively and you're talking intuitively to them try and keep it like not saying like me don't go oh, spirits are telling me just say oh did you ever think about doing this or did you ever think about doing that present it as your own okay rather than someone communicating with you because that's where where they get their paddy whack on like she knows he knows the real me 
there is successful communication here. Um, when I'm asking spirit for a timing, your collective timing is hitting at a four, a three to a four. Okay, so this could be three days, four days, three weeks, four weeks, the third or the fourth of October. And for some of you guys, it could potentially be three or four months before the contact resumes. Though that feels a little bit distant for the majority of you. And again, if you want to look at individual timings, just give me a shout. We're not normally far off with timings. People have got free will, so it can change. Um, but overall, the timings aren't that far out normally. So a three to four for your collective, your collective timing of contact coming in. They're definitely watching you. They're definitely keeping tabs on you. They're definitely seeing you. I can see you. They're definitely seeing you. And um, and that is where the contact will come in. Okay, they're just having a bit of a paddy whack, a bit of a hissy fit, a bit of a throwing the dummy out the pram, a little bit freaked out, overwhelmed. And that's it. That's deck number one. So yeah, contact coming in. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And as I was talking, you know, I was saying about Taylor Swift and you guys are like, oh God, here she goes again. I, you know I'm a big Swifty, right? Because I just find her song so meaningful. Uh, you know, they've took me through some of my darkest hours, but also my happiest days. Like I said at the start, the sunshine and the moonlight. Um, and they've took me, she's, she's took me through some of that. And I saw in America, I'd made an extravagant purchase because they had a deck a tarot deck with Taylor Swift uh, song lyrics and I thought you know what I have to I have to own that because um the energy and the connections for both of them are so strong and fitting in my energy so yeah I posted it on Instagram <laughs> I think I made an extravagant purchase today it wasn't too bad price wise for a tarot deck um and as a side note don't ever buy any of these cheap tarot decks because you're putting artists out of work just as a side note. Um, so I always spend the full price on it. So I bought the deck and then the shipping. I was like, yeah. And I, I tossed and turned on it. And I was like, nah, just do it, just do it. So yeah, that's deck number one. Um, if you need me, drop me a message. Right, guys, let's scoot over to a deck number two. So this is the Oak, Ash and Thorn Tarot. It's a really, really beautiful tarot. And if you've just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, this is the deck that I will be using for the Mabon Pagan Party at Mystical Moonday Musings. So if you haven't subscribed to it, go and hit subscribe. Um, it is my other channel, and it's it's a rocking channel where I do astrology and tarot readings with my friend Josie for the week ahead. So um, you get your free weekly reading there and then you get your love readings over here. So yeah, go hit subscribe over at Mystical Moonday Musings. I'll put it all in the comments for you. Right, let's think about your person for me and get into their collective energy for you guys. And let's go. Let's see what comes up. So will the person... Oh my goodness, we're everywhere already. We'll take that one. Will the person you're asking about contact you soon? Like I said at the start, it doesn't have to be a specific lover. It could be a friendship. It could be a family member. Um, well, we're getting clumpy, clumpy cards, which is okay. It just means they've got a different form of reading. So when they jump out two and a two and a two, um, we've got one over the top. But that jumping out, they, they jump out specifically on purpose in that way. That's how the tarot work for me. Spirit influenced the tarot, goddess influenced the tarot. Um, and that's why they form, they free form. That's what spirit is saying. Free from, free flow. That's exactly what they're saying. So where do you guys want to start with this? So spirit is saying, let's start at the very end rather than at the beginning. So we're going to go back in time and then we're going to go forward. Okay, so we'll start at the end. No, we'll go forward in time and then we'll go backwards. So these are the three cards I want to pull out first as we're talking about this. So we have the Ten of Cups. They're so cute, aren't they? Aren't they beautiful? We have Death, you know, like the horror movies. We have the Death card and we also have Judgment. So these two cards jumping out together, these two jump together. This is major, major stuff with the situation. So when we're forward focused, which we are looking at the future energy between you guys, there is going to be an ending of where you are at this point in time and a resurrection to do with love. OK, so where you guys are at the moment and it has gone tits up for you, there has been big towers going on. There has been arguments, tensions, conflicts, separations, all the big nasty towers where things fall apart. This is where you guys currently are. And there is this transformation that is going to be happening. OK, so once the transformation occurs with the 10 over here, this is talking about endings and new beginnings. The death card is the transformation period. And this will really be hitting as October comes into play. OK, so as Scorpio season starts, you are going to be going through this big transformation. And the transformation that is coming to you is a resurrection of the connection. 
So right off the bat, where you are at the moment, it is heavy, it does suck. And I do feel those really deep emotions that you guys are feeling. You are feeling anxious, worried, scared, stagnant, unsure what's happening. There's sense for some of you guys, or maybe your person, there's a sense of regret, remorse, um, sadness and also um spirit just said suffocation so you might be feeling that you can't breathe from the situation and your person that you're asking about as well a suffocation of the situation it has been difficult it has in a sense some of you guys been a bit more toxic um and so it's gone to a standstill it's gone to a ick it's gone to a stop it's gone to a stop but in the future energy we have a transformation coming forward and um, an ending and a new beginning which is focused on resurrection so this suggests that you guys are going to sort your shit out basically but towards the end of october now let's go where we are at the moment so at the moment we've got the six of cups and seven of swords so there are memories of betrayal coming up and this is where the ick is coming into it so the betrayal between you guys it could be that they let you down it could be that they said hateful words it could be that you learned some information whatever betrayal that you are thinking of you know about okay so i'm not telling you anything new if you're like oh my god i didn't know he did that then that's because that's not um not important for you you guys watching if you know of the betrayal this is what it is and also there has been a betrayal in your person's past so it does look like a cycle has been repeating here now it could be that you guys have been playing um in the words of dua lipa i'm just saying eat sleep and breathe it rehearse and repeat it so being stuck in a bit of a cycle with them but this cycle um has got to come to an end okay because this cycle is no good for anyone and that is where the transformation will occur so we've got memories of deception so you're thinking back to the situation with them. You've got the past memories where you've been hurt and betrayed coming up with your person. And there is, like I said, all this mix match of emotions. This is where you guys are at the moment. And if that doesn't resonate with you and the person that you're asking about, this will be someone from your past or their past, which has met, has took its um, energy into the present situation, which is why the death card has to happen. OK, so this situation has got to transform. Now, how it will transform um, is the Eight of Pentacles and Justice. So it's going to take a little bit of work. There's going to be um, a lot of soul searching, shadow work going on with you guys. And with Justice, this is the karmic energies rebalancing. You reap what you sow. OK, so if they have betrayed you and you know about that or let you down, they are going to really feel the pain and loss of that karmic energy coming up around them. OK, so you guys are going your separate ways at the moment for, for very strong growth, for really embracing that shadow side, doing the shadow work, embracing kind of the darker energies that are coming up around you. And once that has healed, once that karmic energy has cleared, the situation, as you know it right now, will come to an end and you will have the rebirth of the connection. All right. So contact can come in, but the karmic energy has got to be cleared first, okay? It's got to be cleared because this cycle can't keep going on between you guys. It's not healthy, it's not good, and it's really, um, you know, you're finding it very, very tough. And I know some of you probably switched off then because I just felt the energy like they were like, I can't cope with this reading. But I'm just telling you what you need to know. OK, but the transformation is there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put you some Lenoma. Um, as I said, at deck number one, Lenoma is works very, very differently from Tarot and it gives us very direct and blunt answers. So I just want to ask about the communication between you guys. Will your person, the person you're asking about, contact you? So taking a, 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 a moment away from the situation, which we know about at the moment, we'll give the answers and a gift. OK, so the yeah, so it does come back round as, a, as the tower is saying, it will come back round again. But at the moment, time apart will bring the information that you need. It will bring the success. It will bring the stability. It will unlock the doors. OK, so the situation between you guys has to be where it is at the moment for growth to occur. I know it's tough. I know it's tough, but that's what the cards are saying. And from there, you will get the gift that you are seeking. OK, so the doors being unlocked will bring in gifts and the gifts that will come will be travel experiences, will be the journeying together. All right. So it will come round again. It will come round again. Um, but there are lessons and things that have to be sorted through first. The shadow side has to be embraced. And that's deck number two. So if you want to look deeper into it, just give me a shout at mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. Sorry, you 
mysticlovetarot at gmail.com is my email address. Hit subscribe on here, hit subscribe at Mystical Moonday Musings, which is my, my sister channel. Um, and yeah, I'll put all the deets in the description. Like I said, same day return on voice note reading. So if you want to know your answer today, just drop me a message. It's £10 per question and it's done over voice note on Instagram, Facebook. So I'm pretty quick at getting those answers back to you. Um, so if you are worrying, just, uh, just drop me a message. Right, guys. So I will see you at the Pagan Party on Saturday at Mystical Moon Day Musings. Go and, go, like I said, go and check it out. I'll see you there Saturday and then there'll be a following reading on there on Monday and then back here on Wednesday, Thursday next week. Lots of love, guys. Take care. Ciao.